What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're here with day seven of Advent of Code and without further ado, let's just jump right in as usual. All right, we are back with day seven, no space left on device. So I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to read the problem because it looks like a long one and then we can come back and talk about it. Okay, so by the looks of it, it looks like we're in a terminal and there's a few commands that we can run. So we can CD to change directory. Uh, this being the root folder. And our problem is essentially that this file system obviously takes up some amount of space with all the files within the directories in it or even the nested directories in it. So our goal is that based on these commands um, and the file structure, we wanna find all of the files and how much room they take up and then return the directories those files are in if they are have a total size of at most 100,000. So yeah, this is gonna take a few data structures to figure out like where each file is and then what the tree looks like and to also make sure that the parent directories are showing the right amount of space. So this is gonna take a bit of time and we want to f actually add the total size of all those directories that are at most uh, 100,000. So for example, in this case, it would be directory A and E. So it would be the sum of all of these, which adds up to that because everything else is actually larger or rather every other directory is larger with the contents within it. So let's go and figure this out. All right, so we are back. We have our sample uh, and there's a few things we're gonna need to do. The first thing I wanna do is set up some data structures. Then I want to be able to parse uh, the different commands we could have. So if you see here, we could have a command for change directory and for ls, and then we can either go to a root, we can go up a level, or we could go into a directory. So I want to set that up, set up different commands. After we have all of those set up, uh, I want to go through and parse these different commands and then also have a different case for each of them. So step four, within the parse, I can see that we basically really care about which directory we're in. So uh, so we want the case of case of change directory and case of ls. Because if there's an ls, then we want to actually uh, keep track of these different file sizes and potentially even the directories. And then for step five, uh, while we're parsing this, we want to make sure that if we come across any sizes that we're adding this, to both the directory that we are in as well as the parent directory. Add size to current directory and parent. And step six, file si sum of file sizes, sum of file sizes greater than a thousand. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm seeing that we could use two different data structures. One thing to keep track of the file path and something else file path being the like the current directory we're in as well as like its parent for example like our file path as well as something to keep track of these sizes in the different directories so for the file path i think we can keep it simple we can just have something like a, a list and then that way if we move into a directory we can add that to the end of the file path and then if we go out of a directory like the dot dot then we can just pop the end off. Yeah, so let's go ahead with a list. Uh, I'm also just going to throw the size a little bit over here. So this is that value here that we're going to compare to. All right, so in terms of data structures for the file sizes, I think I'm going to use a dictionary. And my goal is that it's going to keep track of every directory as well as the different uh, sizes for each directory. So directory sizes equals this. Actually, at second thought, instead of just like having this empty dictionary, what we could do is use uh, a dictionary type called default dict. And what that does is lets you initialize a dictionary with the value of a default type. So that way we don't need to be like, if they're the key of the directory is not in the dictionary, initialize it to zero we can actually initialize all values to be an int. So we can just always add to it rather than saying, oh, if this is the first time you're seeing it, it's zero. Otherwise add, it'll just handle the case of like initializing it for you. So that is something that can be imported from collections. I just threw it in here and the type is that we are importing is called default dict. So what we can do here is just initialize that. Default dict. 
uh, and we just say what type it is and it'll just initialize it. So we're initializing it as an int. So I think that's all our data structures. The next thing we want to do is set up our different commands. So I see here the, the most prominent thing is that all the inputs that we as a user are making start with this uh, dollar sign. So why don't we just add that? So terminal prompt, so this is the terminal prompt, and then we can change directory. So let's have that CD command. I don't want to write change directory. So we have CD and then we have, actually, I don't even think we care about this because like we know that if we're listing out anything, because those are the only commands there are, they're CD and LS based on the input. Um, obviously, if this was like a normal command prompt, uh, I would account for many more cases and actually care that about this. But it looks like we know if it just doesn't start with this, then it's listing out the directory. So I'm not going to put down ls, but we do care about change directory because we could go into different directories. So we don't care about this. Like it's either this or we care about this. We don't really care about the ls command. So I'm going to leave that out. So we have root directory equals that. Uh, previous directory equals that. Okay. Uh, actually we do, one thing we do care about is like, we know if it doesn't start with dir, it is a size. So we can also have that. So dir label <laughs> equals dir. Okay. So now we parse the command. So this is line by line. So for line in input. So actually the easiest thing to do would be like there is white space between each of these parts of the command. So what I'm going to do is just split this so it's easier to, we don't have to care about the white space and everything. We know each uh, index in the list is an actual like command prompt or command or like basically it's useful information. So line.split and we're going to split by white space. So this is where we're going to care about our cases. One of the things we care about is this first part. So if this is a terminal prompt, so so if this is a terminal prompt, we only care if it's a change directory. If the second part is change directory, this is where within this we want to handle our file path. And then out here, so this is going to be handle file path. Otherwise, we're, we're just not going to care about the ls case, as I said. So the else here is going to be handle sizes. So for the CD case, let's start with caring about this and then a directory, changing into a directory. I assume actually if this is just the root directory, then we'd want to replace it. Uh, so let's handle that as well. So we care about root directory, changing directory, previous directory. So if that second part, line at two, is root directory, so then we want the file path. Uh, let's just reset it. Uh, and let's reset it to this. And this is going to be an elif. Uh, actually, let's do this in a different order. Let's do this first. So if that is the previous directory, then we want to do file path dot just pop. Uh, otherwise, we know this is a, a letter or directory name, not necessarily letter. So we're going to append to the file path. File path .append. Okay. So this is all our changing directory cases. So we're good with that. So now in the else case where it's all like this, we want to add size, handle the sizes. So if it's a directory, yeah, I think if it's a directory, we just ignore it. And then if there's a size, we, then we care. Yeah. So we can just ignore them. So if line at zero equals, equals dir label. Oh, sorry, does not equal dir label because we don't care. Uh, so then we know we have a size and we don't really care which file it belongs to, I don't think. Like we, let's just go with the thought process of we only care about the sizes. Here's the other thing. We want to add it to current directory and all its parents. Can we have directories, multiple of them with the same name? Because then we might not want the key to be just A, for example, maybe we want parent then directory. Yeah, let's do parent then directory. Cause what I'm imagining is like, say at the root level, we have a directory E and then with A, we have a directory E. So the reason I th think about that is because I want to figure out what the key for these dictionary si directory sizes is going to be. Cause we need to add it to the parents as well. So, okay. So if that's dir label, the size is going to be an int. So size equals int 
at zero. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is loop through these, the file path. So I'm gonna loop through this by index because I want to include the parent in the key name for the dictionary sizes. So for example, I want something like AE equal AE 200 and then like that. So I want something like this. So I'm gonna loop through by index. That way we can be like the key is going to be one previous slash and uh, the current directory. So let's do something like that. I in range length of file path. So here's the thing. If we're in the root directory, we don't have a minus one. So I think if it's in the root folder, then I will just add the directory name. I won't care about the, like it's in the root folder. So maybe we can have something like this actually. I is less than or equal to one. So we only care if it's more nested than the root directory. Then we want directory sizes, file path at i plus equals size. Otherwise, so parent equals file path minus one, current equals file path at i. We're going to do directory sizes directory key, it's going to be, so I'm just going to build the key here. So what I want is something like, I'm using string formatting here to just say that I want the parent and then slash and then the current. So that's going to be the key for the directory keys. But, and let's just print this so I can see what actually comes out and if it makes sense. Oh no. Okay, so I had a bit of an error where I had, uh, I was not parsing the input by new line, so I'm doing that now. So let's try to run that again. Okay, uh, we have the root is big. Uh, we have A, we have A, E, D. I think that's actually right. Yeah, there was 94,000 for A and then E had 584. Yeah, okay, that looks right. So now what we want to do is return the sum of the files greater than a hundred thousand. Okay. So what we're going to do here is just, I'm just going to have a sum and loop through the values. And if they're greater than, or sorry, less than a hundred thousand, I'm just going to add it to that sum. So sum of sizes less than limit size in directory sizes dot values. If size is less than at most. So it's less than or equal to size limit. Oh, that's right. Okay, perfect. Let's run that on the input. Just running it on the input. Okay, that's a number. Hey, we got a gold star and it's the right answer. Good job team. Let's go on to part two. All right, I'm gonna take a second to read this problem and then we can come back and talk about it. Okay, so for this part, it looks like we only have, um, or sorry, we need an unused disk space of at least that much. Um, but, and our file system has this much. So based on how much space we have used, we need to figure out uh, how much more space we need to free up to reach this amount of unused space. So for example, if we look here, uh, we've used this much space based on the sample. So the unused space uh, currently is this much. So we need to figure out what the difference is to free up. Um, and then after that, we need to find the smallest amount of space that meets this, uh, this threshold. From here, we have a few different steps instead of what we currently have. So first of all, all of the logics would still be the same. We want the directories and their associated sizes. So the only logic we're really changing is here. So here we have, uh, we want to calculate the current unused space and then how much we need to free. And here, what we can do is that we have our dictionary. So what we could do is sort it by how much, uh, space each directory is taking. So by the values, <laughs> this is probably like not the most efficient way to do it. But after we sort it, then what we could do is loop through and then we find the first, uh, because it's by from smallest to largest, we could find the first value that is greater than the amount of space that we need to free. Hello. Okay. So we're going to sort the directories by smallest to largest value Loop through in order and choose first directory that is larger than space 
needed. So we don't need this anymore. Okay, so I've just put in our unused space needed and our file system space. So our current unused space is going to be the file system space minus the uh, the amount of space used by the root folder. So that would be directory sizes at uh, the slash. So this is how much space we've used in our entire system. So that is how much current unused space we have. And then our min space to free is going to be our use space needed uh, minus the current unused space. So we can actually sort by value. Uh, or sort the keys by value. So how we can do that is by using items and using and and by using the operator item getter. Uh, so that will basically allow us to sort the uh, the uh, the actual items themselves, like the key value pairs by value. Okay, so I just wrote this uh, this out. Essentially, what this does is that this it makes this our iterable, so our directory sizes. So it loops through the items and then. Uh, it gets the items that we are sorting by the uh, the actual keys of the items or like the first keys of the items. So it'll sort them by values at the items being the value at those keys. Then I'm just going to loop through each of the key value pairs in that directory, sorted directories dictionary. So for, uh, I don't care about this first key, like the, the keys or the directories at all. So, and then this is going to be size in sorted directories. So we want to find the first uh, size that is greater than the minimum space to free. So if size is greater than or equal to min space to free, we're just going to return size. Return size. Uh, let's see what this gives us on the sample. So this should give us, okay, so this should give us the size of directory D. Okay, yep, that was right. So let's run this on our input. Okay, that is a number. All right, we got another gold star. Thank you everyone for joining me for day seven of Advent of Code and we'll be back for day eight really soon. See you soon, friends.